All right, so we have the Anchor PS30 30 watt solar panel that we're testing out today. It's really made for cell phones and maybe charging up tablets and stuff like that. I have charged my cell phone up with it with no problems, but today we're gonna play around and see what we can do hooked up to a power station. And I have it hooked up to the Anchor 521. Let's see if we can see what's going on here. Got it hooked up to this, to the USB-C port. And let's see what we got. It is charging. Let's see what our our input is a whopping four watts. So I'm gonna play around with the uh, the angle of the solar panel and see if we can get some uh, some more watts in and see what happens there. So it is rated at 30 watts to the solar panel, but four watts. I mean, we expect to at least get half of the 30 watts. So we're gonna. We're gonna mess with the angle because right now I just have it laying flat. We got good sun, so it's laid flat. I'm gonna mess with the angle and see if we can get some more watts. So I'll be right back. All right, so I got the angle adjusted a little bit. Let's go see what we got in the back or on the power station. As you can see, we got, see that now? We got five watts coming in now. So, all right, we got five watts coming in. It is charging up. I'm gonna let this run for a little while and see if we can get past this 49%. I did see it coming uh, as much as seven watts coming in at one point. So I'll let this run for a little bit and let's see what happens. In about 10 minutes or so, I readjusted the panel the angle of the panel and let's see what we got going on on the power station we got seven watts coming in now in 10 minutes and we haven't moved any we're going to give it a little bit longer and see what it does i mean you would think we'd at least get 15 watts coming in at least get half of what we're supposed to but not doing it Little solar panel work great charging my phone up, so I mean it works great for that kind of stuff. But so far on the power station, the smaller power station, I would not recommend it. Like I said, this is the Anchor 521 power station, so uh, it just take too much too too much time to charge this thing back up. I mean, I got really good sun right now, and we're getting seven watts, so I'm saying it should take 19 hours at that rate. You you wouldn't charge it up in the day, that's for sure. So we'll let it run for another few minutes, maybe 30 minutes. I'll come back and check it and see where we at. So it's been about 30 minutes now and we're up to 51%. So we have moved up 2% and we have seven watts coming in. And uh, what I just figured out is this is a 30 watt solar panel, but you have two outputs on it. You have two outputs on it and each output can put out about 15 watts which would come to you 30 watts so on the usb-c side the most output that it's going to do is 15 watts so we are getting about half of that with seven watts so that's that's pretty good it's just i, I was thinking it was 30 watts on each side but it's not it's a 30 watt output combined that's the usb-c and the usb-a combined to put out that 30 watts and I'll show you that we have a, uh, you have two ports on the back of the solar panel right here. That's your two different ports and you're going to be 30 watts on each, I mean 15 watts on each one. It's not, not 30 watts on, on, on each side. So, uh, combine the 215, you're going to get your 30 watts. I am about to quit with the power station here and then. I'm going to use the USB side, C side now, I mean the USB A side, and try to charge up. I got a little tablet. And we're going to try to charge it up. So let me let me get this hooked up. As you can see, this tablet is completely dead. So we're going to charge it up to the USB A side and see what we got going on there. Okay, so I got the tablet plugged in, and now it's actually. Not showing any watts coming in onto to the power station, but as you can see, it is charging. And then the tablet, 
I don't know if you can see that and you probably not gonna be able to see it, but there is a little battery icon on the tablet right now. So the tablet is charging. So we can give about 30 minutes and we're gonna see where the tablet is. I mean, that tablet was completely dead. No power whatsoever has been, been put up for months now. And then uh, we're gonna come back in about 30 minutes and see if the power station moved up any and see what kind of charge we got on this tablet. So we got them both plugged in now. So now we should be getting the max from the solar panel, which if you're getting 15 on each side, that should be 30. But as we've seen, we was only getting seven in on the power station on that one side. So we'll come back in a little bit and see. So it's been about another 30 minutes and we are up to 52% on the power station. So we went from 49 to 52%, that's 3% uh, and a little over an hour. And then let's see what we got on the, if you can see, but we have power on the, there we go, we got, it's, I'll show it again. We got 10% charge on the tablet now. 10%. So that's not bad. That's 30 minutes. We got up to 10% on the tablet. So it actually is charging this up pretty quick. And like I said, this small solar panel is really made for tablets and cell phones and stuff like that. And I've charged a few times with my cell phone. It's done really good doing that. So uh, let me get out the sun. You can hear uh, I was affecting the charge there stand in the way of the tablet so i'm going to turn it off there so i would definitely recommend it for tablets or cell phones or any of your smaller devices not so much for a power station it'll take you a couple days to uh, get it charged up so uh like that so there you have that is the anchor the anchor ps 30 30 watt solar panel and like I said, that's going to be two ports coming out. And it's going to be 15 watts on each port. And I'll have a link down in the comments below if you're interested in getting your own power station. We sell them on our webpage. Just wanted to do a little review of it. And thank you for taking time out. Hope you enjoyed the video.